Okay. And then as you kind of press into it, you'll see that there's going to be some that will lift up. You have to really press when you do it with your fingernail. Kind of go over it a few times. Do you have an uh, exacto knife by chance? Okay. So let's do with that. Okay. You're making a box guess. So since you have it kind of pressed in real, if you do have it pressed in real firm like that, it'll make it a little bit easier for kind of guiding along there. Um, what I usually do is I'll take my pinky and base it, like anchor it to the Tony that's been doing it. And then just kind of start going. I don't really change the position that my hand is in. I just keep it in that same and use my non-dominant hand to rotate around as I'm going. So then my dominant hand stays in the same position the entire time. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, should have it where it comes off like that. First time I do it, I usually have a little bit of gaps, um, like here and there and just a couple of spots to just make it to where it's not gonna be as crisp of a finish when it's done. So I do try to do another layer afterwards. And everyone feel free to be on camera. I know it's not always the um, I don't know, it feels awkward sometimes, but definitely feel free to be on camera. We'll do another layer. I have, same kind of way. I have natural that? lighting, so I was just gonna say I have natural lighting, so I can't, I need a ring light. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ended up getting it on Amazon. Um, oh, cool, it was like 20 bucks or something, wasn't too bad. But sometimes it's a huge pain in the butt on how it actually holds the camera. Can you hear my children being crazy in the background? Um, I hear your house is like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering how much sound is coming through because I finally got it so that the sound is coming through my headphones for everything. So like my mic uh -huh. and my sound. So I don't know how much of them you can hear. It's not, it's not that loud, honestly. Like, you're aware the kids are there, but it's not, like, right, right there. I'm just trying <laughs> to mute it when I'm not talking. But... No, no, you're fine. Meanwhile, I'm just skipping steps. I'm not even <laughs> doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. I'm going to be pulled away by the baby any second. Honestly, that's how it all goes. Most of my videos that I upload are, like, five or six different ones for each video because they're all suddenly interrupted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll just go again along that same line. Ooh, there's some feedback. I can't tell if it's me. I'm wondering if it's me since I have the two devices going. I muted the one and turned down the volume all the way, so I Hope it's not bad. I don't know what it is. Mm. Technology. I know, and I'm not the best one to be leading this kind of thing. <laughs> it's all good. We're all there together. <laughs> like I literally found out that there was the group one that we could do in the group instead of having to create separate chat individually <laughs> as I was making I the event. I've never done a Facebook room before, so this is my first time. Yeah, I didn't know that, because I was planning on doing Zoom, and then it has a maximum of 40 minutes, and I'm like, I don't yeah. know if that's you just be. Well, you just restart it. You just restart is that what it is? Yeah, you, you hit the 40-minute timer, and then you just say, everyone come back again. <laughs> <laughs> that's smart. I was thinking yeah. I would have to pay for it. I'm like, ah, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Who all's so, here? Yeah, everyone introduce yourself so we can kind of get to chatting. 
I'm Camille. <laughs> I'm Katie. <laughs> I'm Molly, and this is Malia. Sorry. Camille, we're the Snohomish people, so we're the neighbors. <laughs> oh, yay! I have a couple friends up in Snohomish, um, one who's about to give birth, too. So Nice. I need to make it up there. And one of my sisters is a bottle. We are right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm who's that? Pamela. Um, Pamela? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm... We're actually working on our basement, so all of my painting stuff is packed up. So I'm just kind of watching. And just trying to figure it out when you do. Yeah, so that I, I can figure it out when I have my stuff packed. Because everything <laughs> is all in a storage unit right now. Yeah. Uh, it's always tough when everything has to be packed away like that, too. Oh, and my, my mm -hmm. house is a disaster because my kids' stuff is everywhere it's not supposed to be. Anybody's house not a disaster? I know. I would be surprised. <laughs> it's so funny we only have the one kid and i had no idea that one kid would do as much of a impact on laundry and everything else <laughs> <laughs> i'm pregnant with our fifth and i'm just like not looking forward to the baby clothing again oh, they just yeah. go through so many clothes because <sighs> mine have been spitters <laughs> Well, oh, then, oh my gosh, yeah. You like you have to constantly be buying new wardrobes every single week, it feels like, because they grow so fast. Yes. I just kept everything. They all get to share. But I definitely had spitters, too. Like, my first was such a spitter that she dropped severely in her weight percentile. It was just, like, soaked me every day. Well, my, uh, my two-year-old was born at 26 weeks, and uh, finally when she came up from the hospital, she had a G-tube, but she couldn't mm -hmm. tolerate food very well, and so if we accidentally ran anything too fast through her tube or anything, I mean, just everywhere all the time. Yeah, wow. yeah that would be hard. <laughs> now, all my baby clothing are stained, so I'm like, oh, I need to buy some more baby clothes. <laughs> I'm not my kids just get to be in pajamas all day, every day. That's all we do, pajamas. That the older ones. Dress up clothes. Huh? Dress up clothes is mostly what we exist in here. Yes. Oh, dress, dress up clothes, clothes is perfect. <laughs> I mean, the older kids get to pick out their own outfits, but like babies, you just get zippy footies. That's all. Mm hmm. The Maybe buttons. a cute outfit. The button zip up or the button PJs are it's just happy. a nightmare in the middle. Of the night. We're lucky with this one that she mostly sleeps through the night with one diaper, so I don't have to do diaper changes in a long time for my That makes me for sure. My whole setup was recently taken over by my dad. Because she wanted to paint the uh, the fairy creator in a ton of glitter paint. So if you see little shimmers of glitter, that's definitely what it's from. <laughs> huh? Okay. Go. Yeah. Go put it in the front All right. So how's everyone looking with their... Um, their tape on the, the face of the Tonys. Looking good, Molly? Okay. And then I'm going to do that. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and wait. And that way, if you have questions, we can get them answered, too. So who else is on here? I hear snacks in the bottom no corner. Fighting. Be nice to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I recognized Patty's picture on here. Did I see I Patty's I profile picture? Yeah. Liz isn't here, is she? 
I don't think so. That's too bad. Because it's not showing everybody. It's kind of showing a couple of people. I have nine. Okay. Yeah, it's showing you more than it's showing me on it. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I see my sister-in-law cats on here. Let's see if I can get her to talk. <laughs> How are you there? Mm. Is that your Tony? Huh? Love it. You ready to get started on it? Oh, she's like, can we paint yet? Can we paint it? <laughs> Why are we Let's not do it then. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to start with my white that I have down here. And then if we're doing like a base color, I usually recommend um, just like a flat brush. It can be an angled brush or a flat brush, whatever. I just think uh, a little bit larger of one definitely helps to get it covered and get it taken care of. So we'll grab a good amount right here. And then I just kind of go nuts when I do it, which is why I like the tape. Does it need to be like really opaque or does it matter if there's brush strokes? It's totally fine if there's brush strokes. We're okay. probably going to do like two layers just to kind of cover some of that. So there's not a lot okay. of texture showing. Uh, but first layer will almost always show <clears throat> brush strokes. Sorry for my voice. <laughs> I usually use one of the ears to hold, but I've painted one already. And oh, I yeah. haven't painted the arms. <laughs> so. I know. I always have such a hard time of where I'm going to hold everything. And then I try and have something that's like metal so it will hold onto it for me. Yeah. And it doesn't always this, work. But it doesn't. Yeah. It's not as. Um, a little bit. It's a little awkward sometimes. <laughs> I can't quite get between like the feet or under the arms. <laughs> and as you're doing it you'll see that it dries pretty quickly at least the brand that i use does mm -hmm. I, use Smart. I think everyone knows that by now um but it will look kind of like chalky when it's dry so if you for the matte it, ones yeah if you see it looking kind of chalky then you know that that first layer is pretty solid when i try and get the other ear i'll just kind of set it down and staple it with my fingernail i thought you said it would look like coffee and i was very confused for a minute <laughs> I'm so tired, I might have. I definitely have coffee on my mind. I heard Chuck, which you reminded me that I have tea. Well, who's that showing there? It's right there. Now I have cold tea. Mm. Good coffee. <laughs> it's lukewarm. I could hear that. Oh my god, my baby's just getting <laughs> All right, so how's everyone doing with their um, first layer so far? I'm at the. Are you doing the arms a different color? I don't know. I haven't decided. I just didn't want to paint them yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cool if you do. If you do the ears and the arms different, like how they do their 
um, their suits in general. Yeah. Basically, like one rainbow effect on one and like a reverse rainbow on the other. Perhaps. To be determined. My cat's come to say hello as well. <clears throat> What's that? So my cat has come to say hello. <laughs> I have a feeling like Sebastian will come by pretty soon too. Oh, there you go. She's a mischief kitten. Oh, oh my god, they all are, aren't they? <laughs> Mine still stresses me out sometimes. What are you doing? So when you do the second layer, I recommend going in the opposite direction of what you did the first layer in. That way it kind of gets rid of some of that texture that we did on that first one without having to add a whole lot of layers and really keeps it smooth without adding extra texture to everything. Oh, when the babies get to be old enough to be distractible when you're trying to feed them. <laughs> She's like, I just want to look at all the things. Mommy's got a drink over here. I want to drink it. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> think once they start drinking your drink, they never stop. <laughs> That's true. Luckily, we mostly just have water around here, so my kids are real good water drinkers. My daughter has this... Um... I want to say tendency because it's like every time, but she'll stick her hand like her whole fist in my open <laughs> glass every single time. No, I don't know why she does it, but I can't seem to get her to stop. Between her and the cat, there's always somebody's hand or paw in my drink. Oh no! I do the um the simple modern bottles. The mm -hmm. thing that my kids do that drive me crazy is they'll just push the straw all the way down inside. Or they'll tear it out and it's like, yang, yang, yang. or yeah, like I do the Starbucks cups a lot and they'll hold it up by the straw. Oh no. And then go like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a toy. I know everything's fun, but please don't do that. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh oh. Kids came by with the disco ball. So put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we have to be gentle with it. Gentle. <laughs> Here, honey. You're so cute. Why don't you do a dance party with your sister, sweetie? No. Hey, Vander, can you put it on the Tony box? No, I want to do it. Can you put it on the Tony box? No, I wanted to do it upstairs in my room. All right, so almost ready to start doing the rainbow. I feel like the reverb is me. So as you can see, this one's pretty mostly covered. There's some spots that you can still kind of see a little bit through. We're going to kind of cover those a little bit. I still don't want to see too much of the gray because it's going to then um, mute some of the color that we're doing since it's going to be so watered down. you mute your second camera, the reverb might go away. I did. Oh. I wonder why it's still doing it then. I don't know.
Okay, so it is for sure me. Okay, so we're gonna let that set for a second and let everything kind of dry and turn into that chalky finish. So it's good enough, good enough. I mean, what do you say? I said it's good enough, good enough. Yeah, it's it doesn't have to be, perfect. it just has to kind of Definitely. be the lighter white color overall. But yeah, your base layer is going to be imperfect, the watercolor is going to be imperfect, everything's going to be in that sense, honestly, because. I think that's what makes it pretty, mm -hmm. is having it all different. Now, I recommended for the colors doing more of a uh, detailed brush uh, for kind of forcing some of that texture to come through. Any brush will really work, but that's what I'm going to be using. So if you don't have a small detail brush, don't fret. We can still get it going with it. I cannot get these to go. I was picking up a lot of sound. I'm sorry. <laughs> So this is going to be the style that I'm using, um, even one that's kind of like destroyed, like this one, if you can see. Hold on, let me go and mute to it. You don't want to use something that's like still got a lot of good detail life left in it because the whole point is we're going to be kind of like smash in onto the Tony with it, essentially, forcing that to happen. Like, I wouldn't recommend this one because it actually looks nice. <laughs> So as I like prep this, what I'm gonna do is just kind of get all my colors out on my tray so that I have everything in the order that I'm gonna kind of work in. Um, and then we'll kind of make our other colors as we're going along with it too. Thank you. 
I'm laying them in a circle like this to give them a little bit of space in between because I'm going to mix these two colors, these two colors, these two, and so forth. Everything that has a gap will have a color mixture between it. Um, but I'm going to bring it up out here so that it doesn't end up getting all just brown in the center. And then when we're making these, we're gonna really water it down to just a real extreme. And it feels like mine's dry. Check yours and feel if everything seems dry with it. And then we'll get everything started on those. So as I do it, I'll like water it down behind the color itself and then just kind of test outside of it to make sure it's truly like almost transparent with where it's like just a tint essentially of that color. You see what I mean with that? When we go to get this started on here too, I try to think of it like, uh, I'm not sure how familiar everybody is with the color wheel, um, but essentially, it's gonna be in this order where you have your primary colors and then you have your secondary colors in between them. Um, we wanna kind of map it out in that same format on here. Uh, so we'll kind of do like this section here will be red and then we'll have orange and yellow and so forth as we're doing like just little pie sections basically on it. What you want to do as you're making it too is find a point that you want everything to be in the center before you get everything started. So that's going to be your your main finish point where everything all kind of comes together. You don't want it to fully all come together because again, that's just going to make a brown. Um, but you want it to kind of have a meeting point. So we'll kind of take it and just. I honestly just kind of smash it on there. Sorry, I'm gonna mute. I think it does that reverb when it's just me making noise. Can you move your hand over a little bit? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, thank you. Um, I missed it because we're, we're having issues. <laughs> um, somebody's been injured. Anyways, um, what was the technique for making the watercolor? Um, so you basically just take water of it, um, just water your brush up, pull some of it over, and pull it into the back here. Um, just really water it down to where it feels like it's almost opaque. Um, and then kind of test it off to the side to see if it gives it more of a tint look than it does like an actual true color. And see how it like kind of just frays and destroys the brush a little bit as we're going. This is what I mean by like, don't use your good ones. <laughs> but as we're doing it, you'll see some of it pools up because it is just straight up water going on there. So when it does that, I just sort of tap it with my finger, get that extra bit off, wipe it off, and then just add again. And that's gonna force the additional texture to be there. Hey, I need a brush. So you're gonna wait till I finish my I think we might have started this a little bit early because it's turning a little pink from that water color kind of going into the white. Yeah.
Now, before we go on to the orange one, we're going to mix the red and the orange together as well um, so that we can make that transition a little bit smoother. So this whole portion that we're doing here, we're going to do that with all of our main colors that we have on, but we're going to do half of this portion with our mixture of our red and orange and then do that same width over on the outside of it. Um, so then when the next one comes over, it'll be half of that orange and red and then so on from there. Ouch, my tears. Okay, so we have our mixture color, as you can see. Oh, this reverb is driving me nuts.
not doing good. I lost my painting buddy, but <laughs> still working white drying because it was a little bit thick. <laughs> Yeah, the the prep she was she was over it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get her back as soon as it's dry and she starts doing color. I've gained a painting buddy. <laughs> and I've been propelled onward by my squiggly baby, so I've done some things. I can't see my video anymore. There we go. I've done some things. I've gone off script. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. This is a really fun technique. Mm -hmm. Mama, do you think you are almost gonna use blue? I will be using blue. I know. Did you say you wanted me to do um, my star tonies next time? Because that one is really, that one is really like, I'm going to have to do some prep on telling people like this is what you should prepare and think about what you want your design to be because it definitely doesn't have to be the same color scheme as mine. And it's, it's one where you just kind of like blah, which is why I like it. Lego. Yes, please. Lego. I'd love to know how to do the uh, the hot glue here. Okay. So I was tempted. I haven't done it yet because I realized I didn't get a green jumpsuit creative and it's just too much work for me. But making a little leprechaun, if you did the hair and made a little beard, or I was... I didn't want to sacrifice my Santa to do it, but I thought that would be super cute. We'll see if I get motivated or find time. I have to go, but thanks for showing me how to do this. They look like they're going to be very fun. Oh, sounds great. Thank you.
we're going to be going rogue and doing bottom to top rainbow. There's your head. You We're totally going to have to all take photos and post them on the group in like one post. Let me so everybody can see what we did here. You can make one post and then we could comment with our photos. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do orange. Ready? I don't know if we're on. Yeah. This is my first time Did actually you... like really using my craft mark paint, so this is fun. I've been using all my weird, like I got these off. Well, I got them as a Christmas present, and they're pretty thick, which is kind of nice. Oh, well, watch your eyes. Mm. Okay. So, well, you can say something. We're not on mute. You can say hello. Oh, now you're going to be because they can hear you. Okay. But mama. Mama. Yeah. Can you say, can you tell them what your name is? <laughs> Did you see her face when you said that your daughter's school got preschool, got a Tony box? She went, oh. <laughs> might end up having to donate a Tony box to their preschool. We did the speech therapy as well, and you won't tell right now she's shy, but she's beyond it. <laughs> or let's say it was very successful. Okay, I think I finished my initial go round. Here, oops, can you, I don't know if you can see really well. And then, I didn't even do the tape. I didn't do it. <laughs> I just kind of went around. Because I found that um, if I'm careful, I don't really get it on the face. And if I do get it on the face, I can kind of just scratch it off. I think somebody uh, used a chopstick. Mm -hmm.
Classy. Yeah, I really like that baby. She's throwing herself into my headband. Um, yeah, yeah. It's such a fun one because it's really just throwing all the colors on. I would be like the 